Hello and welcome to Rockmas 2023 Day 5. I know it's two days late, but there's a background story to it. So I filmed this, I was going to do a Charlie vlog, I filmed it, and for some reason it's taken nearly two days to upload, and I thought it's been uploaded, and to save and storage space on my phone, I always delete my videos after doing uploads, so I thought um, it's been uploaded and it hasn't and for some reason sometimes if i do a video on my phone and then upload it for some reason sometimes it can take like one or two days to upload but when i do it on my ipad it can take as little well as like 20 minutes i don't know i don't know what's going on and I accidentally delete it, so and uh, now it's refusing to. So once the video has been uploaded, it's then it goes through like a processing system, but it's been stuck at like zero percent processing. So it's like I'm gonna have to start it again. So. It's safe now, you don't have to just pretend it's Tuesday. <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, so I'm well behind on what work with. <laughs> so yeah, I do apologise. <laughs> and if you were thinking he's doing rugmas, but it's not all of it in the originals in that and the past two days. <laughs> so, yeah, this is the reason why. <laughs> So let's start off with the weather. So the weather over the past fortnight has gone really colder. It's gone really cold. We had a cold snap. It's been frosty. It's been icy. And because it's been my weekend in work last weekend, I got picked up from work and I came out work and it's still just now. And I don't know whether it was Friday or Saturday night, but it started snowing and it turned to sleep. It was just enough snow to, just to cover the pavement, but it's been bit, bitterly cold. Luckily, you know, today, <laughs> it's Thursday now. This, I did film on Tuesday. Luckily today, which is Thursday, it's starting to go a bit milder, which is good. But it's still cold. It's winter. And I can't believe, I always say it every time, but I can't believe how dark it's getting. Look at once we get to the 21st of December. It's um, going to get a bit lighter because 21st of December is the shortest day of the year and it starts to get lighter. So yeah, it's just shopping this week. So usually what I do if it's my weekend in, I usually go to Tesco and things from Thursday, get a couple of bits last off to Monday and do it on Monday. Um, but I like if like they want you to use like all your holidays at work. So and I think the contacted people in August while we were away in Greece saying that you've got ninety percent of holiday Jeez. Just goes suddenly just allocated everyone like holidays, so they did that. So I think if anyone had that, I think they got like a random day off just before Christmas because you're not allowed to take the last two weeks of your year off, which sucks because I really wanted my birthday off. I apologise, I am in the lounge and I got really fast asleep on the sofa. So you can hear it snoring. It's usually Dolly in the grocery hall <laughs> snoring in the bed. I got Ruby. That's to me. Yeah. So, yeah. So I went to Tesco and Sainsbury's and I didn't enter all day on Monday just while I went down to the gym because 
my local gym is on my local retail part, the gym that I use anyway, and there's Aldi next, right next door on the part of the retail park, because my local retail park is like in three sections, <laughs> uh, which is um, like, so the main base for that, like where Home Base and Home Sense and TK Matt, no, me and them and Boots is, and um, New Lidl, and then uh, it should be opening in a year, I think. And then you've got TK Matt's car, right, and K KFC and like the middle bit, and then you got Aldi in the gym, um, a bully on the carpet shop. Most of that used to be at my local B&Q. So, I think it's really awkward <laughs> being cool because it was like dividing like two. So, you came in and you had like the garden center in the middle, and you, so you came in and you had like lighting and floor and decorating and stuff and the homeware to the left, and then you, you went to the right, you had the tools and the power tools and the scenes all bit and the wood and stuff. So it was really weird, so like, Aldi was like, well, I'm like, second half of the garden centre, and then that bit that I mentioned. Yeah, it was really awkward layout. So yeah, so I've just got a couple bits that I ran out of. Oh, there, yeah, I spent 30 quid. I don't go to Aldi very much anymore, just because Tesco and Sainsbury still have a price match, but like, the quality is they got like the free wretch out there, so but I'll just nip it in there because it's nice. It's nice and more local and they've got a better selection of special advice from the local one. Had a refurbishment when the cream died. <laughs> it was that week when she died that it shut and they've been made they've made the aisles wider and revile got rid of a lot of special buys, they've got a tiny special buy section now, so yeah. So, who doesn't go to Aldi all the time? <laughs> I'll look down the middle of that home. so yeah. So, I am going Christmas shopping this weekend to get some weekend off. I've got more presents <laughs> for pets, um, people at the minute, so I need to get organized for it. Yeah, I want to go to Masterland as well because I got an email saying, I think it was Monday, I got an email saying, oh, here's for a 25% off, keep on spending £30 more. So I want to use that. I want to use Tesco as well because what I usually do is I get the cook card vouchers and part of cook for Christmas savers. So sometimes, so if you park Christmas savers, you can actually put money onto your cook card in Tesco, as well as in addition to the vouchers in by the points you earn on your shop. Uh, so you can do put money on that cook card. So yeah, so it's very handy to boost your cook card vouchers. So yeah, you get a bonus as well, depending on how much you put on your cook card. It stops around about mid October when the statements come out. You only get your statement once a year mm -hmm. instead of four times a year if you're a regular cook card member. So so I, I do that. Yeah. So I do that. So save half that and then any other saved goes towards the Christmas food shop. I do the same with Sainsbury's. With my next card, like I save up points all year round. You can use it at Easter, at uh, Christmas. Because last year, I can't remember. Last year, at Christmas, I did, like, I managed to get the shopping down to the pound. I used like £60 pounds worth of points. But I use, like, make sure you've been using the net to app or the net website for you weekly offers and stuff and make sure you save them because that's how you build up your points balance because I think I read somewhere or oh, they do keep saying that you use the app or the website 
for your bonus points, you do actually earn three times as more points. And there's other websites you can actually use points on. So I know ASOS and Resign under one. There's a couple of others, I think Argos is one, Dunelm, Matalan, which is really strange, considering Matalan's got their own loyalty card theme. I don't know how that works. There's a couple of others as well. There's like 300 you can use online. eBay is one of them. Oh, yes, yeah, so that's good. So, yeah. Also, we need to look in the range and on our mail. It's not called on our mail anymore. It's called on our it used to be called Donnell Mill years ago. I don't know why I keep calling it Donnell Mill. I think because our local one has been open for like nearly 20 years. So it used to be called Donnell Mill. So that's what I keep calling it. And I also want to look at the range. I want to go to the bigger Donnell. Because my local one is it's alright, but it's not it's quite tiny. So I want to look at a couple of bits for the kitchen. Like one like new bread bin and biscuits and tea, coffee and sugar containers, like canisters and stuff. Because we are actually painting the kitchen at the minute. Yeah, I've got the paint way back. I'm trying to think when we it was November or October, I can't remember. It was on home base and it was um <laughs> on offer. So we originally got two cap tins of paints. Uh did like what is it called? Like a stripe of paint to see whether we like it in the kitchen. Didn't like it, took it back. And the paint that we liked was actually on three for two, but the paint were exactly the same price, so that was like eighteen pounds. So we've got an extra ten, and didn't have to pay any difference. So that's not bad. Are you with it? <laughs> no. Yeah, it's, yeah, so moving on to a leg. So yeah, I had to stay late on Sunday to help with stock take. <laughs> so we did Andrew's stock take back in the summer. I heard people there to me like doing it. I think it was on a day I was in, in anyway, on the weekend. <laughs> So it was apparently people there for midnight. But when I left work that Sunday, like they were posting out on the shows everywhere. So I did that. But we're doing the show in two stages. So I think, yeah, we did Frozen as well. So there's that we didn't do or doing this Sunday. So that should be fun. Even though I'm not in this weekend, it should be fun for the guys doing it. So yeah, I know they want me to work more overtime than I planned because people keep changing plans. So yeah, so now I'm trying to think. They want me to do more hours and I have to think about it because I've not got the time like I have last year to get Christmas presents. So I need to plan what I'm going to do. And I've might need to have a think about what I'm doing <laughs> because I need to plan and the we they want me to do more all the time is that actually the week. Um it's my weekend off and usually if I have my weekend off it during the week I usually do more days but less hours it's a week when do more days but less hours so i need to find some time like 
a free day just so we can get organised for Christmas. Because, I mean, like, I know, like, my two older sisters and my niece and nephew and my two brother-in-laws are coming on Boxing Day as a pair just So I could go out on Boxing Day, but we don't know what shops are going to be open on Boxing Day. And also, also, Christmas Eve is on a Sunday this year, which means that the larger shops aren't going to be open as long as they were last year because it, it Christmas Eve was a Saturday last year. Um, yeah, they were only going to be open for like six hours. So, yeah, so I need to decide what to do. Like, they asked me to work it, like, it's not optional. Sure. <laughs> so I can decide where I want to watch it. Watch it, work it or not. So yeah, so I'll just need to decide what to do. Yeah. So yeah. So should I do? I think I might do an update Ruby actually. So she's um going doing fine with like um I would say oh, feeling that the old one might be going because. It's the back leg. It's only one of them when she told her so, but last week I've noticed that she was really struggling with the other one. So I think the other one's going. It might have just be in the cold weather because she does have arthritis in the back. And I think the cold weather is affecting it. But she seems content and happy enough. She's been to the vets and she's got an infection as well. But which I think she's not been being the self of it, but I took her to the vets to get it sorted. And yesterday, she, she, it was like she was a puppy again. She was really happy. I'm really happy. Like, after we gave her my occasion, she was like, Really happy. Of course, she's she's eleven and a half, so she's a bit hard of hearing, but she's doing well for her age. So yeah, so I'm going to go now. We're going to have dinner because it's half one in the afternoon, and. And go and get, go to the gym and then go to work. Also need to double check when the drains are running today or not. Because they have announced last week that they're going to dry all week until this weekend. So now they're not running tomorrow, which is Friday, but I need to go and double check. 